Hey, what's happening, guys? Before we get started, I apologize. I still have the hiccups. All right, into the show. What we got here is an interesting little ESP32 board. It's based on that ESP32 room chip. And it has a built-in OLED. So this is uh, pretty neat. But one thing I don't like is how we have the uh, ESP32 and the OLED on this top side and our two buttons are down here on the bottom. I wish they could have found room to put the buttons on the top, but I guess they can only do what they can do, right? Here's an enlarged picture I took of the chip just so that uh, you guys can get a better view. In this dark area here, I mean, it's just like this right here. There is nothing to see. So this is your AMS1117, which is a voltage regulator. We've got our process here. We've got a boot and enable switch. Two diodes. Big diode there. And what we got here is our connection for the OLED. And what's really nice is it's I squared C, so it's only using two pins, five and four. Now, if we look at the top sheet, or the top of the chip, we can get a better idea of what we got here. So that's in this configuration. We got three volts out. Then we have our GPIO pins here. Another three volt ground and five volt. Over here, we have more GPIOs along with RX TX, another 3.3 volt, couple grounds and another five volt. So We've got one, two, three grounds, two five volts, and two 3.3 volts. That is pretty handy. So like I said, this is uh, I, I squared C, and it uses the SSD uh, 1306 library, so it's uh, really simple. This little guy is about $17, and I've got him in my Amazon store. For those of you who can actually order anything from it, I'm sorry about you guys in Canada. I, I don't know why they won't sell it to you. I mean, Canada's given the world so many great things, like Poutine, William Shatner, Justin Bieber, Celine Dion, but I'll let, let that one pass. Anyway, like I said, the board is uh, I squared C. And this is his address, OX3C. And you just want to make sure where you start your I squared C command, wire.begin, you put 5, 4 in parentheses. And that will allow you to use the board uh, just like normal, like any other ESP32. And it has a really nice look to it. <laughs> you can see there. There, there's no flickering in real life. That's just the camera. Now, the reason I got this was basically because of its size. You know, it's about two and a half inches long by about an inch high. And, uh, you know, if you don't put the pins on there, it's an eighth of an inch thick. So the possibilities are endless. It's got a cu couple built-in sensors, including a, a, a touch switch which is very nice. You know, I actually think it has 10 touch touch switches, capacitive touch sense switches, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And there's going to be some projects coming up with it, coming up with this. I bought a couple of these. These are going to be fun to play with. And I know you guys would like to play with one. So I'm going to give one away to one of you guys. Let's see how we, we're going to do this. I got it. I'm going to give you a quote. You respond down below with who the quote is by. Uh, let's have this done by the end of the month. And everybody who gets it right will do a random number drawing. All right, here's your quote. Where is your will to be weird? Okay, that's the quote. If you can figure that out, and come on, you can figure it out. This is the age of Google. Then you can win. I have one of these nice boards to play along. So anyway, 
this is just a quick look for today so that's it thank you guys for watching uh thanks for the guys who came to the live stream i got the uh, speaker problems sorted out it was just that old speaker i swapped speakers everything was fine all right that's that's it i'm out peace